Yeah, I'll have to go with NBC for another year of stellar, stellar communications broadcasting this race as well. I mean, out of 24 hours, I think we saw, what, at least two hours worth of commercials? <laughs> so uh, absolutely fantastic. All right, well, Josh, I wasn't going to go there, but since you uh, said a few words about that, I guess <laughs> I was about to say, we're all going to shut it um, yeah, I mean, NBC, I got to say, I, I'm a little bit disappointed. Uh, you know, I, I, I think the coverage has, as a whole, been been pretty good ever since they took over IMSA. I love the IMSA theme music, by the way. I think that's the best motorsports theme music NBC has. The guys in the booth are great, as always. Lee Diffie's one of my favorite play-by-play men in all of sports. But, you know, I mean, I'm paying you guys $5 a month for Peacock Premium anyway, and you're showing me all these commercials, and half of the commercials are for Peacock original programming and you know, there were IMSA commercials as if we're not already watching IMSA. I mean, it was just just very, very frustrating, especially after last year's experience of having the commercial free world feed for Peacock Premium subscribers. I was you know, very disappointed not to see that again this year. So, uh, you know, I, I guess NBC really put the nothing but commercials into <laughs> NBC this weekend more than ever. But uh, maybe they'll see the feedback and tweak it again for next year. Who knows? But as Which for is the worse. one shining moment. Sorry, what was that? Which is worse, Fox Sports NASCAR coverage on NBC's <laughs> IMSA coverage? You know, you're, you're always, you're always, you're always you're that, you're excited to see the other network come back, and then by the end of the season, you're tired enough that you can't wait to see the other one come back, and it's just an endless <laughs> cycle that continues to repeat itself. But we'll see. I, I might. I'm, I'm excited to see Fox come back again. I'm, I might be regretting my excitement. Not down. Get you will. Through a truck race at Daytona. We'll see. I'll let you know in a few weeks. Um, <laughs> And yeah. That's... So, and but also, by the way, I didn't even get the um uh, the feed on my channel here in Detroit. So I don't that's know right. what my that's, that's is doing. Yeah. So yeah, yeah that's, uh, that's I mean, good. I do have Peacock, so, so thanks for that. But again, what are we doing here? We're paying five bucks a month for for this. If this repeats itself at Sebring, I, I don't even know what I'm gonna do. Guys, move would, to the UK. We get the we get the IMSA stream free, and we get right. oh, if you have a Sky package as well, you're getting sports channels literally thrown at you this year. Uh, we've got Discovery Plus, which means we get to watch all the data and onboard channels for WEC. It's unbelievable. Uh, Guys, I, I would like rather up. I'd rather them up my subscription price to seven dollars a month to get that commercial free feedback next year. So I, I mean, to have to deal with that this year was very very frustrating. But enough of that. I want to get to my one shiny moment here, since that's the <laughs> yes. actual segment we're supposed to be doing right now. Um, I, and I'm just going to echo what everybody else said. Again, I'm, I'm more of a casual uh, IMSA viewer. Of course, I always watch this race, always watch Sebring, always watch Petit Le Mans. And, uh, of course, I'm, I'm very excited for 24 Hours of Le Mans on the WEX side of things this year as well. But, uh, man, the LMP2 gave the world a treat uh, with that finish. And the, the, those final couple of laps there, um, Alan and what, what's the other driver's name? Is it Hanley, I think, the, the two drivers that, that came across yeah, the line? Uh, yeah. You know, to, to be racing 24 hours and to have it come down to – you know, whatever it was, I think 16 thousandths of a second or something like that is just absolutely spectacular. You could not write a better script uh, for that finish of, of that class than what we got in LMP2. So absolutely, that is my one shining moment. Far and away, uh, the highlight of the Rolex 24 for me this year.